So next we're going to create, add a couple more pages to our report and we're going to look for patterns and trends. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to click on the plus to add a new page and I'm going to rename this page if I just right click and rename and I'm going to call this profit analysis and I'm going to add a third page which I'm going to call category analysis. Category analysis, make sure I spelled that right. That'll do. Um, <clears throat> and I'll come back to uh, the profit analysis page. Now I'm going to come back to sales summary first and I'm going to choose my year slicer. All right, and I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it into my profit analysis page here. All right, so we get the year slicer. And then I'm going to use one of the, um, one of the I'm just going to click sync. To, to sync those up. So when I switch between pages, it should sync those up. Then under this section here on the insert page, you will note that there are some what are called AI visuals. I'm gonna add a decomposition tree here. Now, if I just click on decomposition tree, right, and I'm gonna then drag it up to the top here and I'm gonna fill it to take up most of the rest of uh, of the page. Now, this decomposition tree, this will help us get an understanding of why our data looks the way it does. Right? What makes up our profit margin in this case of 30%. So I'm going to want to explain our profit margin. So I'm going to put that into the analyze pane. And then I'm going to explain by, if I come back to product, I'm going to drag demographic in there. Then I'm going to drag our products and product categories. Oops, let me um, let me just try that again. So I'm going to drag products in here. Oh, there, I dragged them both. There we go. And we're all good. All right. Then I can come across to this little this little tool tip here. Choose I want to split my data. Right, and I'm going to choose a find high value. It'll then look for high values in my in my data set. I'm sure I've done that. High value. Let that run. You can see the little icon is spinning up here in the top right hand corner. And then we get our uh, our products um, and where the vast majority of our um, of our income comes from. Now I could swap this round a little bit so I can drag, let's just drag products down here, or we'll drag demographic up, let's try that, right there we go, that's better, now it looks a little bit nicer, so we can see it comes from a professional, from a novice, and then we can understand where from our demographics our main profit margin comes from and our highest demographic is professional there. Then on the sales, uh, sorry, the category analysis, all right, I'm going to come back here, I'm going to choose these same slices, so I'm going to copy that using control C, I'm going to come across the category analysis and I'm going to uh, paste those in and I'm going to click on um, sync. And then I'm going to add a, I think I'm going to add a matrix here and we'll have a look at, um, let's add a matrix on and we'll have a look how we can do things like conditional formatting. No, wrong one, my bad, change that back to a slicer. Let me click off the slicer and now add in the matrix. I'll get that to fill most of the rest of the page. And there we go. And then I'm going to add in um, what do I want to add in here? So I'm going to create a new group from category. I think that's going to be fine. And from this new group, I'm going to add in uh, trainer. And I'm going to include other groups in there too. I'm going to click on OK. And we should get a new group added to our product table. So you can see that in there. So I'm going to take my group here and I'm going to drag that into the rows column. of my matrix and I'm going to drag in um, product 
underneath that category. Right, so we can see we can get some roll up or we can expand things out. Then I'm going to add in things like uh, we'll do quantity, sales, costs, and profit margin. Right, and on the profit margin option, we are going to set this up for some conditional formatting. So in the visualization, well, under the values well I've got the little drop down next to profit margin I'm going to go to conditional formatting and I'm going to say uh, we'll make background color we'll make it background color and we'll base it on uh, let me just check I think we're going to base this on some rules So the format style, we'll base this on rules. Right, if a value is um, greater than zero and less than, I'm gonna say 15. Right, and it's, sorry, greater than zero and then less than 15, we can make it red. Right, and then I can add a new rule if it's greater than or equal to 15 uh, but less than 20 we'll make it an amber color and then we can add a new rule if it's greater than 20 let's make that a percent greater than 20 percent then we're going to make it a green color in here there we go click on okay I'll make that 100 in there or maybe 150 there we go click on what's wrong with that one there we go make it less than or equal to 100% click on OK. Didn't like the logic. Right, you can see there it then applies conditional formatting to the columns in there. I don't appear to, or oh, just one that's red and none that are, that are particularly amber. Right, so we can see that we can get our conditional formatting, uh, our conditional formatting set.